What is going on my friends? Ken the Gamer 04 and welcome back to LA Nor. We are going to be doing the slip a well, we're going to be doing the mission a slip of the tongue. Um if you heard that click. I don't think you heard that. Well, I don't know. Kind of. Um I'm just playing around with my pocket knife. Um, I, I get bored, so I just kind of open it and close it. <laughs> like, stuff like this. During this type of crap, I, like, just play with the pocket knife. But, let's get this going. Gordon Leary. No, Kowski. Kowski. cop says he located a green Kaiser Fraser from the hot sheet. Okay. 6 West 2nd Street. Okay. Get over there and see what you can find out. Go on. Sorry to inconvenience you. Um, we're on it, Captain. Oh, stolen vehicle? Okay. That's kind of dumb. I swear, the more bent cars we bring in, the longer the hot sheet gets. It pays the rent, though. It keeps Mrs. Phelps in the manner to which she's accustomed. I'm not sure she'd agree with you. Passionate, romantic type like you, Cole. I don't believe a word of it. Oh, exits over here. I say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. I say I let my partner drive. You, know the way. you can drive. Oh, is there gonna be a cutscene about the last de uh last mission? They're calling her the Dahlia now. Wonder what Veronica Lake makes of that one. What a case. You hear whether they're making any progress? No. But Captain Donnelly seems to think they have it all wrapped up. Brown and Green are sweating this manly character. I heard it'll be in front of a grand jury by next week. Really? I beg to differ. Terrible enough being murdered like that without having to death. Screwing all over the front page. As he crashes into a car. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I guess we have to... I mean, 6 West 2nd Street, 12.16 p.m. Okay, well, let's figure out what's going That's on. That's the car, Cole. Just pulling out of the drive. Get him. Oh, okay. Remember, we need him healthy enough to answer questions. 12.47, Detective Phelps requesting immediate backup in pursuit of a stolen green Kaiser Fraser from 6 West 2nd Street. Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. I'm trying. All right. Like, calm down. We're already starting off this video with a pursuit. This feels like LSPDFR. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. Dude, I'm going. Please stop. Oops. That's like $100 worth of property. That's also like a hundred dollars worth. Maybe I was a couple miles over the speed limit. Get bracelet. Out of the car now. I'll call it in. Car limit. Why did you run from us? I saw a big car in my rearview mirror with two tough guys bearing down on me. What would you do? What's your name? Cliff Harrison. You're under arrest. For what? What are you talking about? Nice try. I'm talking about the car being stolen. You're out of your mind. I bought the car, and I've got the paperwork to prove it. Mm. But we'll have some questions for the people at Coombs Automotive. 2450. Okay. Interesting. Radio and a lighter? Okay. 111. Oh, 1947 at whatever. Okay. 
All right. I mean... You purchased this car from Coombs Automotive Company? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's and the telling the truth. From the same place. Oh, what's this? If this is a forgery, it's top notch. This will need to be traced. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know how I feel. Um, the motive for flight? Do you have a criminal record, Mr. Harrison? No. Nothing like that. Sure about that? You better give us something, Cliff. Or we're gonna make this hard on you. I didn't steal the car. I ran because... Because I've got some wacky backy in the glove compartment. How much, Cliff? One reefer. We'll let it slide. You're in enough trouble. Hey, what about the vehicle Who purchase? Who with at Coombs Automotive? The owner, Richard Coombs. I mean... Mm, we'll give him the truth. And he made out the bill of sale personally? Of course he did. He kept a facsimile for his records. Check with him. Okay. We're going to get to the bottom of this, Harrison. Until we do, you're going downtown. you got to be kidding me. I'm getting arrested for buying a goddamn car? If everything yes. is legit, Harrison, you'll be out soon. Until then, if I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut. Oh. I guess possessions as evidence and have him arraigned for Grand Theft Auto. Right, Detective. Do you know who my father is? We need to get to Coombs Auto and check out Harrison's story. Are you seriously honking at us? You know what? I think he's telling the truth. Some of the most convincing people you will ever listen to are born like. Okay, and how do you get to Coombs Automotive? Just so I know, because I, I apparently have to do the driving. Um. Oh, it's, yeah, it's not that far. Yeah, we, we good. Usually they're called politicians. We're just totally gonna go through the stop signs and Paperwork stuff. Paperwork all looked above board, and he seemed like a clean-cut kid. Uh-huh. Well, I get it now. You he kinda did, did he? basically you five years ago and assume he's gotta be innocent. I'm more than happy to be proved wrong. Hey, if he'd been black or Hispanic, you'd be singing a different tune. You spout all this communist crap about treating everybody the same, but it only works one way. I'm not sure that's communism, Stefan. Oh, God, please. Not another history lesson from the man who single-handedly won the war. Are you finished? Yes. I feel much better. We'll shake down the car dealer and take it from there. Unless it's sorry. Of yours, of course. In which case, we'll give him a firm check. My sincere apologies, my friends. My fire company had a car accident fire call, and I decided to take it in the middle of recording. So, we are back with the action. A slip of the a slip of the tongue and we'll uh we're gonna continue the video um i, I know i'm going the wrong way obviously i didn't follow the oh are you blind well yeah that's like a lot of money i should have had my partner drive if i'm being honest i don't i don't even know where we're going let's be honest here We should have like I don't I don't even know where we're going. Okay. It's just okay. Alright. So I need to turn right. Okay. Alright. I hate driving. I really should have made my partner drive, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, this seems like the automotive place that I failed miserably to go to. 
and then took a or, uh, took a car accident uh, call with my fire company. So you know, I'm just doing my part in the community, and uh, that's it, Not really. Another step. I have got a Buick Century sedan that would be absolutely perfect for you. Detective Phil, I'm stepping. LAPD, are you the owner? That's right. Richard Coombs at your service. You looking to trade in a black and white boys? No. <laughs> Mr. Coombs, we're investigating an auto theft. A man by the name of Cliff Harrison claims he bought the car here. Well, uh, some people would say that my cars are a steal. That's a joke, son. Very amusing, Mr. Coon. I remember Harrison. It was a green two-tone Kaiser Fraser, if I remember rightly. Do you have the bill of sale? It's in my office. Walk this way. Imagine he runs away. What in the hell is he? That's a joke too, son. Well, do you mind if I shoot this guy? He's getting on my nerves. <laughs> oh man, I would have shot him too. With a Nerf gun, of course. A Nerf gun. Guys, shut up. A Nerf gun. Here it is. Got the original pink slip there, too. Okay. Now, does this kind of tie into what's going on? Gene Archer. 146 Six. North Fremont Avenue. Hmm. Can we further investigate this? Ooh, look at that. Oh, Marquis, Marquis painting. Interesting. Well, let's take a look at the other thing. Let's see what's going on here. Harrison's purchase receipt was legit, at least. Twenty-four, fifteen, ninety-five, forty-nine, one. Radio. Okay, I mean. It looks good. We have a couple of questions. All right, fellas. Shoot. All right, fellas. Uh, give me the details of the transaction. Can you tell us how you came to buy the car? Girl just wandered in right off the street. How am I supposed to know I'm going to go truth? Nothing unusual about the car. Not really my usual type of vehicle. The price was certainly right, though. Nice girl, but about as sharp as a bag of wet mice. Um, Did you pay with check or cash? A check. She wanted it made out to cash, but I insisted. Man has to watch his cash flow. What name? I made it out to Gene Archer on the Bank of Arcadia. Okay. Can you describe this Gene Archer? Brunette, maybe 25, 26. A little on the plump side, but not bone ugly. I'm going to say that's the truth. What was your impression of him? <laughs> kind of harried and harassed. In a hurry to go somewhere, but no place to go. You get to know the type. Okay, what's your association? Do you know anything about the company that prints these pink slips? Nope. Should I? It isn't exactly my business. Um, I'm going to say truth. Says Sounds Marquis like we're getting printing. them right. You've never heard of them? Marquee. Sure. They do all the government red tape. You'll find the place down on Aliso Street near San Pedro. Okay, check payment details. When exactly did you hand over the check, Mr. Combs? Close of play on Friday. Um, that looks like a doubt? Why didn't you pay her cash? You knew the car was dirty. I had an inkling. When people are in a hurry for money, always pay by check, son. Gives you a couple days to back out. I'm hoping that was right. This was all above board. Yes, of course it was. I'm going to doubt you on Did that this one, look too. legitimate to you, Coombs? I'm in used cars, son, not bear bonds. In my business, you don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Now, don't come on all high and mighty with me if you want my help. Six out of Thanks five out? Oh, oh thank God, we need dude. To the investigation. Hope you sort out your problem with Mr. <sighs> Harrison. Crap. Go easy on him, son. Boy's about as sharp as a bowling ball. He's built too low. The fastballs fly over his head. Let me shoot this guy, please. You have a pleasant day, Mr. Coons. <laughs> oh, he's funny. Oh, 
Harrison might be off the hook, but we can still run an APB on Gene Archer. Get on the horn and call it in. I was going to say, might as well. I just need to find the phone, and there she is. Oh, I'm sorry. The game well. Whatever the hell that means. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? Requesting an APB on Gene Archer, age approximately 25, on suspicion of Grand Theft Auto. I'll relay the information. Messages, please. A James Velasco is being held at Central Station on suspicion of GTA. Possible link to the Harrison case. They're waiting on you to conduct the interview. Thanks. Cool. Okay, so now we have to go to the Central Police Station, right? I mean, locations. Oh, my dear lord. I mean... Let's do the police station. We can do that. And my partner's gonna be... My partner's gonna be driving as well. You can drive. I don't feel like driving. Here's a chicken and egg question for you. What? Do you think you have to be an asshole to sell cars? Or that selling cars turns you into an asshole? Both. You got it in for everyone today, haven't you? I've always got it in oh, for Oh, Jesus. It what they and why do they always think they're comedians when they're about as funny as a heart attack? Maybe the more annoying they are, the quicker you sign on the dotted line. Just to get the hell out of there. I mean, that is true, but... Did, my, my dude ran a traffic light. He ran the red light and he T-boned us. What the hell? And there was no, like, no nothing. There was no, um, whatchamacallit. I don't know. There was no traffic stop. I don't freaking know. Oh, boy. Detectives. Velasco is prepped and ready in two. Another stolen car with legit papers. Thanks. Well, they stole a car with a legit people. So I gave him a dozen, you wouldn't forget. Oh, we're going to two, right? Yeah. So this has got to be two. Crummy bastard. Did you really just call me a cult crummy bastard? I want a lawyer. It's my car and I got the proof right here. Take a look at this. Oh, it's this idiot. I don't mind that you're talking. Wait, maybe? The paper is real enough, Belasco, but the car isn't yours. This pink slip is a forgery. Ooh. Well, take a look at that. I like that. Okay, what's your? Oh, well, let's do that. Taking the car, James. Blow it off, Greenhorn. You'll get nothing from me. Really? Doubt. You're a two-time loser. If you don't Ooh. give me something, I'm going to ask the DA for the maximum. You're looking at 10 years, Belasco. Kiss your youth goodbye. I, I want a deal. Keep talking, and we'll see what sort of deal you're worth. My job is to drive the cars out of state. Nevada, Arizona, sometimes New Mexico. With the paperwork they provide, it's normally a breeze. Okay, association with Archer. Does the name Gene Archer mean anything to you? Nope. Never heard of her. That's a lie. You're a liar, James. Say that again. I'm telling the truth. I don't know the broad. Um. We could do... So that's why you both have the same address okay. on your pink slips. She's a mule for these stolen vehicles, genius. Same as you. Jesus. All right, I know her. Super okay. All right. I ever met. Always Thank God. Crazy schemes. I don't know why those guys use her. You happy now? No. I don't know if I have to wreck it. What happens to the cars once they cross over the state lines? I don't know. I just deliver them. You don't know? Doubt. Give me something, Velasco, or I'll take you back to the cells and tell the whole station you're a child molester. How long do you think you'll last? Okay, okay. I hear you. The cars get sold in Chicago or back east. Sometimes I bring back cars coming the other way. Okay, where are they warehouse? Where do you pick up the cars, Velasco? 
Warehouses. Mainly in East Downtown. Eh. An address, Velasco. You want my help with the DA? Cough it up. Now. A place on Industrial Street. I don't know the number. You're gonna help me out, right? Keep talking, no. kid. We'll see what we can do. All right, James. We're gonna check if this information is worth anything. And if it is, I need your help here, pal. If it is, then we'll know you're a man of your word. And so will the DA. You're Phelps, right? Yes, I am. Look, can we do this later? I'm in the middle of it. Ray Pinker. I'm with Technical Services. The pink slips are all real. Yes, we know that. There's only one company that prints them in California, the Marquee Printing Company. They've confirmed that the numbers are legitimate. You've checked them out? Sure. They're on Aliso Street, near the corner of San Pedro. The guy I spoke to was Lightball. Gordon Lightball. Here, I wrote it down. Thanks, Ray. This is a great lead. We'll get down there as soon as we can. We wanted to move in together when we're not even married. I appreciate it, buddy. Where the hell? Bell, your GTA <laughs> suspect, Gene Prince Archer, spotted by a patrolman. Western Union office, 253 South Hill. Less than a minute away down the street if you run. Go! She won't hang around. So wait, are we going literally up this street? I mean, I should really go where the flag says. Yeah. Let's go! Come on! You don't want to lose her! Running would have been so difficult. Sorry that you hear my dog barking in the background. It'll only take a little while longer. My acting coach quite the best money. Real talent. LAPD. We'll take it from here. God damn it. Everyone's against me. Look, just let me get my money and get out of here, okay? You look sweet. How about giving a girl a break? I could be very nice. Oh, I can't God. Do that, Miss Archer. Stefan, call for black and white. Just my luck to get the only hair sure cop in the LAPD. Go. The car you sold to Coombs was stolen, Miss Archer. There won't be any money. I handed over all the right paperwork when I sold it, Buster. Doubt. Gene, you've blown open the whole operation because you were dumb enough to try to sell one of the cars. What do you think they're going to do to you? Give me something. I was just doing what they do. They pay me 50 bucks to drive the car. I made two grand selling it. You made zero. And if they catch you, you're dead. Is that all your life's worth? Look, a girl needs things. I don't see you looking out for me. Of course not. How long have you and Belasco been delivering? Belasco? Who is James Belasco? Are you kidding me? That's a lie uh, right there. James Belasco. I don't remember mentioning his first name, Miss Archer. Oh, I... Well, I think you did, didn't you? Well, I'm sure of it. Anyway, I don't know him. Really? Where? Right there. The light right there. You and James Belasco share Come the same on. address on your pink slips. We have him in a cell. Okay, so I know the creep. The pink slips are real. The home addresses are always vacant lots. Bigelow is always boasting that the paperwork is legit and that if we stick to our stories and don't try and sell the car yeah, that too okay stolen audio Tell courier me you picked up the car miss archer look i i can't remember let me go will you please no what have i got to do nothing I'm trying my patience here gene i'll have the reporters down here and have your picture in all the papers you'll have nowhere to run all right already i get the message I pick up the cars from a guy named Bigelow. 58 Industrial Street. Big warehouse full of goons. Now you've got what you want. Can I go? Please? No, you sure can. We've got a car waiting outside for you. Some career advice, Gene. Get out of crime. 
Marry someone boring who has money and will find you captivating. Ooh. Is this guy for real? <laughs> he takes a little getting used to, but yeah, he generally means what he says. <laughs> oh, that's great. She looks so pissed off sitting down. She's just like, God damn it, I'm going back to jail again. My acting coach says I have real talent. Okay. We have to go to now. Uh, let's go to 146 Fairmont or whatever street it was. By the way, you're driving. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Totally not the case yeah. notes. You know, I, I just don't want to drive. Friendly Driving girl, sucks. Used to getting her own way. Little did she know her feminine charms were useless against the impenetrable Cole Phelps. She's not my type. And what <laughs> is your type, Phelps? I'm married. I know that. But you're not blind or dead inside, are you? No. Wait. Scrap that second half of the question. Uh, I don't know. Blondes, I guess. Hallelujah! The man is human after all. Now we're getting some. Yep. I'm with you on the blondes. Brunettes are fine too. And there's nothing wrong with a good redhead. <laughs> but I draw the line of bread. You know what? I might have to lift that embargo soon in the interest of maintaining a free market. A man with high standards. The standards are only as high as the last glass of whiskey. Really? Oh my god. That's great. Really have nothing else to say about that, but hey. North Freeman, I should say. Empty. Should have known that Archer Broad would have given us a false address. Oh, that idiot. That's dumb. Give me the marquee printing. That dumb idiot. I should have used that against her, too. The fake address? Is that familiar? Golly. Yeah, no, I worked a uh, car accident, and, uh... Uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I can't really say too much due to HIPAA, but... I worked a car accident, everything is all good, and pretty much that's it. Ooh, he's talking about me. And what can I do for you, gentlemen? Hello. I'm a traffic detective from Central Division. Who's in charge here? I am Gordon Lightfall. What's this about? We understand that your company prints California vehicle titles. Yes, I have the government contract to print pink slips. I've done for some years. Have you had any goods or equipment stolen recently? We're running up against stolen cars with seemingly legitimate paperwork. Not recently. Uh, have you ruled out forgery? There's no shortage of talented artists in this town. Are you sure? We'll keep it in mind. Um, oh, wait. Do, do I talk? Do I investigate? What, 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 what? Do I seriously just talk to him? What is this? Doesn't tell me anything. Okay, so I have to investigate this room first. I mean, it kind of seems weird, though. Can't go back there. Okay, maybe I... I okay, well, I guess I'll talk to him then. We have some questions for you, Mr. Lightball. Lightball. Okay. Mr. Lightball, we're currently working two auto theft cases. Do you know anything about a car theft ring? Uh, certainly not. Why would I get mixed up in a thing like that? Are you serious right now? We have suspects with legitimate pink slips that were printed here, Lightball. You better give me something before I bring the whole department down here. Don't be hysterical, detective. As a matter of fact, 
We had a similar problem a couple of years ago. A number of used car lots were selling blank documents to a criminal organization. Okay. Do the names Cliff Harrison and James Belasco mean anything to you? No, they do not. <laughs> Yo, okay. Harrison bought his car from Coombs. The pink slip looks good, and that points the finger here. Do you have any employee trouble? No, I don't. They've all been carefully screened. Look, now that I think about it, the name Coombs sounds familiar. I think they may have been involved in stolen documents in the past. Oh, my God. Do you have a delivery ledger, Mr. Lightval? We would like to cross-check against the Coombs Automotive Emporium. It's a little out of the ordinary, Detective. Uh, I'm not sure I can share those sorts of records. I'm a detective. Yes, you can. Ball. You don't want us having bad thoughts about you, do you? Very well. But this really is irregular. Over here. Yeah. Look for patterns, recurring names, unusual addresses, anything out of the ordinary. Okay, well, we have a big low right here. You certainly encourage repeat business, Lightvault. This Mr. Bigelow is a good customer. Sorry to bother That's you, That's it? We'll let you know if there are any wow. developments. Okay, so now I have to go talk to... You coming with? Okay. I have to go now to this industrial street, I guess. I mean, we're done with him, so I'm pretty sure we'd have to... You're behind the wheel. Yeah, and don't drive into people, okay? Or don't let them drive into you. That too. I mean... I don't know. I'm tired. It's been a long day. I did six hours of my ambulance service that I volunteer at, and I just took a car accident call with my fire company, so that tells me that I need to go to bed early. But here I am at 9.05 making videos, and then gonna be hanging out with friends after I record this episode. So that's also... Call for a couple of black and whites. That's black also guy. fun. I thought you Marines were gung-ho, Cole. You have a 45, don't you ever want to use it? I'll take the back. Just give me a few seconds to get around there. What in the hell is going on right now? Like, why are we doing this? Cole Phelps, LAPD. All of you are coming downtown with me. So. Oh. Reinforcements are on the way. Cease and desist. Oh my God. Jumping! Oh God! Oh wow! Oh my Lord in heaven! Things on fire now. That's great. Let's clear the top floor. I don't want to get drilled in the back on the way out. What are you I firing at? Dorothy. 
end. I heard something. All right, all right, don't shoot! Keep your hands up. Watch him, Bukowski. He doesn't move until I've tossed this place. That was some scary crap. Betting slip. Looks like Mr. Lightfall has been on a losing streak. I'm surprised this guy didn't get involved in the fire fight. Holy crap. Marquee Printing Company. <laughs> There's nothing like going direct to the source. <laughs> Uh, all right, well. Sorry, I'm typing to a friend. Okay, all right, sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. I love you guys, sorry. Well, 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 look at that. There are enough slips here to keep them stealing cars till Christmas. Tell me about it. There's a lot of uh We've got a trail thing of here. slips and stolen cars that leads right to your door, Bigelow. You're in this up to your neck, but I don't think you're the man in charge. Make it easier on yourself. Give him up. I do work on cars for customers. You charge in here shooting up the place like it's the ballot of bulge. I can't give you anything. Um, yes, you can. We know about Marky printing. You can make this easier on yourself by giving us your man on the inside. I sometimes repair cars and put them back on the road. I need a pink slip to resell them. There's no problem there. Yes, there is a problem. There are at least four dead men in this warehouse. A couple more. Punks won't make for that much extra paperwork. We'd be doing the legal system a favor. Okay, okay, tough guy. I get the message. Lightfall. The guy who runs Marquis. He's the big shot. He likes to spend big at the track. He owes people. Okay, association. Lightball, the guy with no luck at the track. Tell me about him. It's one of the guys lying over there. You're right. He has no luck. That's the best lie you can come up with, Bigelow? Hey, would I lie to you, detective? I'm not exactly in a good position here now, am I? Oh my god, we have so much to choose from. Um, you know what? What about the delivery ledger? Gordon Light yes. owns Marquee Printing, a government print shop. He's losing big at the track. He has these big government contracts. He's in Harkov with 20 grand. If the feds find out, the contracts will be all over. Lightfall plays ball. All right, Bigelow. The heat is off you. Play your cards right, and you'll be able to count your time in Quentin on one hand. Okay. I keep thinking that I get these wrong, and I'm like, oh, crap. The four dead men. All right, so... Inspect all of our key. Okay. Do we now have to go back to Gordon? I believe we do. Hey, dude, you're driving, by the way. I've got friends that work. How about five bucks? Can you drive to this one? You've got friends that work in there? I'm sorry. You've got friends that are dead. Dead in there. Quit honking your horn. Ugh, gonna take some cleaning up, that's for sure. Oh Should god, yeah. Gone that way. Yeah, me neither. Well, we shouldn't bring guns to work with them. We didn't have a lot of choice. No, you have to admire really the bare-faced cheek of someone who tries to blow your brains out one minute and pleads innocence the next. Yeah, especially when he's surrounded by evidence. So guys like Bigelow spend so much time convincing themselves that they're not doing anything wrong that they actually start to believe their own Oh my bullshit. god. They get sloppy. Bigelow, Lightball, all of them. If they hadn't, who knows how long they could have kept this racket going. Complacency? Or greed. It's always one of the two that brings him down. I'm disappointed in my partner. He ripped the freaking back of the person. <laughs> I don't know how bad I. S 
<laughs> oh my god i'm around a lot of bad friends i think i'm gonna edit that one out <laughs> i don't know how inappropriate that was but i think i'm gonna edit that one out we're at 40 minutes okay it's gonna be like 39 or from 40 minutes but we'll see i have to look up what i said see if it was inappropriate or not and if it wasn't i'm just gonna leave it in but if it was i'm i do apologize i'll take it out <laughs> you're under arrest you again this harassment is starting to wear thin excuse me deliveries in your industrial in a warehouse full of hot cars you signed for them light bulb i signed for all the orders and deliveries You'll need something better than that, cowboy. Lie. 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 Save it, Light Gambling. Ball. Gambling. all we need to send you down. Gambling I've debts. I've enough of this. You either produce some shred of proof, or I call my attorney. Dude, it's the gambling. Where is it? Oh my god, I gotta go all the way to the freaking bottom. It's the gambling debts, dude. You're in the hole with the organization. We know about the debts, Lightball. I agree, I have a small problem. I'm prepared to help you in any way I can, Detective. I'll name names. Uh, I need you to keep this out of the paper. I need... You need to shut up now, Lightball. Gordon Lightball, I'm charging you with conspiracy and fraud. Hands behind your back. The LAPD Central Traffic Division has today smashed a nationwide auto theft ring, writes crime correspondent, blah, blah, blah. Oh, here it is. Traffic squad detectives confronted a large group of armed thugs. After an exchange of gunfire, more than a dozen dead criminals were removed from the scene. The LAPD sustained no casualties. Damn fine work, Phelps. Now get out there and nail some more bad guys, will you? I want to finish reading this. So what? We're, we're done? Dude, how much damage did we cause? Ouch. Oh my god. With the theft... Racket smash. Level and his cronies will climb over one another to cut a deal. Okay, and... Okay. Well, that does it for this episode. I hope you guys... I hope you guys liked it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I will catch you guys on next Wednesday. Goodbye!